6 VNTV. The way he sat down, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was special, my friends. Our first guest, Dynamic Career, has seen him go from a DJ alongside Jerry Ryan to the face of breakfast television in Ireland. Yeah, and he's always well known for his good footwear. Uh, his informative and witty interviewing style made him a firm favourite amongst the Irish public, and we're delighted to have him back with us tonight. Can we please welcome Mark Cagney? <laughs> It is so good. Hello, to Legs see. Eleven. How are you? We've, how, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I did it just for boiler. you. Boiler. What's the story? I don't know. No, she What's thought I was calling her Boiler, but she doesn't understand why I call I him Boiler. I know why you call him Boiler. Yeah. Well, well that's my name. Yeah. You will. I'm all right. I'm Do you know right. how far back we go? Should we, should we let people know that that is your name? Like that some is people my name. would yeah, not yeah, have a clue yeah. that that's your name. Yeah. That, well, yeah but I think that's well. Boiler. Mr. Boyle. Yeah, Mr. Boyle. Yeah. Boyle. But yeah. this is because it goes back to your pirate days. Like he uh, was 98. 98. 98 FM. And, and like before, so. that, before 98 FM even opened, uh, they, I think they brought you in first and then I soon came in afterwards. So that's uh, 32 years we've known each other. Wow. You're both, it's the second, very annoying. You both look uh, phenomenal. It's unreal. And uh, you know this because you work with them all the time, right? But the second nicest man in radio. Yeah. The second nicest man in yeah. radio after? Larry Gogan. And everybody would bow to Larry. And you, you'd bow to Larry. Larry, I remember, I have great memories of Larry Golden oh, because sweetheart. he was such a giving person. Mm. And it, it's funny, he was very generous with me years and years ago. And it was lovely to hear from somebody who was only new in the door at 2 FM just how generous he was with them too. Oh, so, yes. A wonderful... I've no, I, I have no problem taking second place for that one. <laughs> oh, I know. Sure, he's the best in the entire world. Well. We have so much to try to get on, through okay. with you tonight. Well, you are here, right? Okay. This is for original studio. We should let everyone it know. Was. But it's about yeah. hemochromatosis. Yeah, it is. Yes. Awareness Week. Now, this is something that you discovered you had years ago. I... It was funny. Um... I came out here, I was uh, do, 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 in my early 40s. Was I 41? Yeah, I, I just made it by 40, 41. And obviously you're getting up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning yeah. <clears throat> and you're knackered because it completely throws your system, your clock, all the rest of it, uh, out of kilter. I had young kids. Uh, life was turned upside down and I felt like this is still a family program, so I won't say it. But you, you know the stuff you step on and the yes, street, yeah. you don't want to bring it into your house? That's how I felt all the time. I thought, this, that, this is wrong. I can't, this is going to kill me if I don't either give it up or find out what's causing it. So I was having various tests done and all the rest of it. And um, one of the blood tests came back with very high liver fats. And as it happened, it was a man called Professor John Crow, who was a pioneer in, in, in the area of, uh, of, of gastroenteritis and also hemochromatosis in Ireland, based on the matter. And he went, he said, I'm going to test you for hemochromatosis. I went, what's going on? And he said it's uh, it's it, it can be it's sometimes known sometimes known as the Celtic curse. It's very prevalent in Celtic races, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, um, Cornish, and North of France. Yeah. And he said we have a tendency to um, absorb too much iron. And the problem with that is everybody needs iron, right? But when you absorb too much iron, the body can't handle it. It's got to do something with it, so it tries to filter it out. It filters it out through your liver, but. It can't, so it stores it in the liver. And if it, if it goes on too long, you end up with cirrhosis. So you have people in Ireland who died of cirrhosis of the liver and everybody thinks they were drinkers yeah. and never touched a drop in their life. Uh, your kidneys, renal failure. It can also lodge in your pancreas. Uh, late onset diabetes. And I wonder, oh, oh, you know that, that almost epidemic of type 2 diabetes yes. we've had? I wonder how much of that is middle-aged people who actually did lead healthy lives. Yeah. But I've been told, well, oh, you must have eaten too much chocolate or... With your rich yeah, lifestyle, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And of course, if it lodges in your heart, you end up with cardiomyopathy and you will die. Yeah. So this is it. Now, you absorb... People say, well, how, what, what, how do I stop that? See, you absorb the iron um, from almost everything. Meat, fish, yeah. uh, green vegetables, uh, brassicas, spinach, all that kind of stuff. And quite often, when you start to get tired, somebody says, oh, do you know what you need? You need an iron tonic. So you should start go through this or B12 and all the rest of it. And it, it, it tends to happen or develop in late, mid to late 30s, early 40s at a time when people's lives are stressed. Yeah. They've got young kids. They're at a, a, a juncture of their career. They kind of feel, well, that's life. I, you know, of course I'm going to feel it's it. Masked. It's, it's masked. It's a big Right? So they, they, and, you know, particularly with men and men being men, you don't get it checked out. And when it does present, it presents as a problem in the kidneys or a problem in the liver or a problem in the heart or a problem in your pancreas. And certainly when I was diagnosed, my GPs hadn't, hadn't heard nothing of it. Right. Didn't know anything about it at all. But 
the reason we need to make people aware of it is, is that it is the most prevalent genetic uh, fault in the Irish uh, um, populace. One in five of us carry the gene. Now, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and two people outside there. Right. Ten people. So there's so there's at least two people within earshot of this in this building right now uh -huh. who are carriers. Don't know. I'm one, obviously. Yeah. But of the other nine or ten here, have any of them been checked? Would they know? No. Now here's the problem, right? If you were the other one and you had it, and you and I got together and we had family, we had kids, we had two kids, eh? Right. One in two of those would have the double gene and then they're in real trouble. They are going to end up absorbing way too much iron in some parts of their body. This is incredibly important. As you said, there is one in 83 iron. people, uh, one in 83 have the double gene. If it's something there that you're listening to and you're like, could that be me? It's not just your lifestyle. Please check out hemochromatosis-or.com uh, just to find out more information on this. Symptoms. We've got Oh. I, I give you it, just I, just so that I, I do this properly. Um, We're not going to get to any of the questions we have. I well, just... we will know because I go. I talk very quickly because I'm from Cork. <laughs> Symptoms: unexplained chronic fatigue. Going back to the to when yeah. I was doing breakfast, I, I just thought, well, of course I'm knackered because I get up at three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, abdominal pains, and because my diet was all over the place, I ate my breakfast at three o'clock yeah. in the morning. I yeah, etc. Of course, my stomach was going to be upset. Uh, diminished sex drive uh, and um, impotence and uh, lower libido and when you're doing that and you're living your life at the other end of the day to your yeah. missus yeah. it's not even a question right yeah. uh, so uh, arthritis I didn't have that right but type 2 diabetes liver disorders discoloration and browning of skin or what's called bronzing and there was a period when I was in here in the first two or three years they used to slag me well you were on sunbeds and I went what but you look at your colour, very high colour. Now, I'm naturally sallow, so if I get any colour, I tan very easily. But it was... But in the depths of winter, I would look either red right. or bronze coloured. You look like George Howell. Well, there's a bit of that going on, and then going, what the hell? And they all thought you had, one, had a sunbed at home. And that's By the way, I'm, ta I'm talking about George Hamilton, the American actor, yeah, yeah. and not the sport <laughs> that, Moon yes. swings. And right. Incredible moon swings. Like, from a whisper to a scream, like that. And for no reason. Like, unreasonable. Sort of like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, you'd lose your temper. Did you have that? I did, I did at home. Did you? you yeah. Kind of, it and I've been known to kick a few doors and punch a few doors. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you would never stand behind a studio door. But no. <laughs> Regular heartbeat, night sweats, getting up in the middle of the night, changing changing your T-shirt twice in the middle of the night, which wow. would be soaked with the sweat. You're like, what the hell is going on? So these are all these things. If, you're, if the, any of these symptoms are making any sense, as I mentioned, hemochromatosis, if you don't know how to spell it, you will find it eventually, dash I or uh, dot com just to check this out because it's prevalent this in is, Irish uh, This is Awareness Week. And by the way, yeah. uh, there would be um, um, notable buildings all over the country. Mansion House, uh, the bridges, they're all going to go red. You know the way they do over Paddy's Day, yes. they go for green? For awareness. Yeah, for awareness. And that's going to be happening right across the world, but it'll be happening particularly here. Yeah. It's very simple. Get a, get a, a pinprick blood test in your finger, check your ferritin, and as soon as they decide you have too much iron in your blood, you go and you have blood taken. Like um, donating blood. A symptom isn't um, a moustache from the 1800s, though, is it? No. 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 I have been binge-watching The Crown, so I decided I was just so happy to be able to grow hair anywhere above my head <laughs> and to have hair to play with. I just thought, oh, what will I do with this? And I was watching The Crown, and I thought, oh, I'll have one of those Romanoff beards. So I hence watch. this. I'm I sorry, I think it looks so good on you. It's amazing. Well, if you've got it, flaunt it. Why not? Go for it. Look, you, 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 were, you were all over the news, the early part of this year, because... Apart from the hemochromatosis. Not related, by the way. No.